Hey everyone, this is our T6 timer, and today I'm discussing the proximity switch option. So this is just at, the proximity switch is just added on to the timer. I'll show you how in a minute. But let's start a cycle. This is an inductive proximity switch for, in this case. It's sensing, uh, in this case, stainless steel bracket. And you can see that it's quite some distance away, 40 millimeters away, and it'll, it will initiate the cycle. And uh, there's an early warning right there that calls the operator over to tell him that the end of the cycle is close. And uh, there at the end of the cycle, then you get the buzzer and uh, red light. And the only way to turn it off is so you can't do it with the front button. That's just for setting the times. The operator must pull the bracket away from the proximity switch. And then you can see the time is reset. Um, notice also that during the cycle, we'll start another one here. The, uh, oops, there, there's a, a relay output that gives you 120 volts to control or power some other device. And then at the end of the cycle, it'll shut off automatically like that. So uh, to, now in order to program the early warning, right now you saw the yellow light come on at six seconds. So now what we're gonna do is um, program it uh, to come on at some other time. So it's kind of tricky. You hold down all three of these buttons at the same time for a five second period. And then when it flashes, then you're ready to set the, a different early warning. Oh, I guess it was seven seconds. So we'll set it for a 10. <clears throat> and then when it flashes again, then it's, then it's um, registered in the firmware. And now when we set it, actually we'll set the main time by pushing the buttons too. There's one minute and 15, but for this video, let's make it um, just a couple more seconds just to show you how to change the time. And so now we'll start a cycle. And uh, the early warning was uh, is gonna come on at, uh, nine, I think it was nine seconds. <clears throat> there it is. And that's the end of that cycle. So finally, I'm going to show you what happens if, um, let's, let me do this. I'm going to set the early warning to uh, a different time again. So we're going to set it to, um, actually, we'll set it to zero. So there is no early warning in this cycle. So I can demonstrate the, the uh, rack um, detection. So let's say we start a cycle, but then for some reason the rack loses contact with the proximity switch. You get a special alarm before the end of the cycle, and it's going to periodically remind you every few seconds that something's wrong with the chirp and the red light. Yeah, so, uh, and again, at the end of the cycle, it's not going to alarm because the rack has already moved away from the proximity switch. So that's uh, the operation. Let me show you into the settings in case you uh, are uh, retro wiring this in the field. You can see that we're using mode three. Um, let's see, we have switches two, three, four, five are set to the uh, right, left, right, right. And that's, that's the what we call the machine mode, which accepts uh, normally, or excuse me, continue maintained close like this proximity switch. So that's the operation of the proximity switch.